Howdy. Today I'm reviewing Marvel Transformers Captain America. For anyone who wants an Optimus Prime for the range, this might be it. The alt mode is a Humvee. They're like Hummers, except they look a little longer and boxier. I'll admit, I'm not fussed about these type of vehicles. They're a bit too square and blocky for my tastes. At least this is a good reproduction of that. There are some nice armoured details here and there to give it a tough appearance. It's a pretty solid mode in general. This spare tyre here helps to keep the rear section connected. There are no obvious robot parts either. Well, regarding the mould anyway. The tyres are pretty buff, like Wolverines, and add to the whole sturdy feel of the vehicle. It also rolls along smoothly. Yet again, we have a case where the colour scheme really hurts the figure. It's obviously meant to match that of the actual character, like a lot of the figures from this line. The red and blue themselves aren't necessarily bad, and I like the star decos they placed on the hood, spare tyre and wheel caps. It's just... The colour layout is controlled by the mech mode, so you end up with something of an unpleasant mishmash. It pretty much speaks for itself, really. The transformation is similar to Wolverine's. But it's made more frustrating by the panels that tend to flop about such as these. Also, these shoulders are really hard to push back. This is just waiting to be broken, I'm telling you. The mech mode is where the figure really shines. Despite being based on a human character, he's quite bulky, but in a way that gives him a powerful heroic appearance and the colour layout is much better being based on the costume. There's very little out of place kibble on this figure. Even these act as shoulder guards and complement the look of the mode. Some of the costume's details are present. The star on the hood is now on his chest where it should be. His head sculpt is fairly accurate as well with the antennae and this section here resembling the A marking without actually being an A. Articulation is good and thanks to his ginormous boots and long heel spurs he won't be falling over much. The joints in his shoulders feel brittle though. Be careful you don't pull on them too hard. The spare tire forms his indestructible shield by pressing the center circle. It fits on either one of his arms, but one peg is a little larger than the other, as if it were meant to fit into the arm in a certain way. It's an odd design choice, but one I think we can all live with. 
If the colour layout wasn't so bad in vehicle mode, I'd recommend this figure a bit higher. As is, he's merely okay. At least he's not the garish mess that Thor is. It's back to the Revenge of the Fallen figures next time with Breakaway. Until then, till all I want.